The Night Before Thanksgiving. Story by Dave Pilkey. Twas the day before Thanksgiving, and all through the trees, the fall leaves were spinning aloft in the breeze. Eight children had boarded their school bus with grins, in hopes that a field trip soon would begin. They sang as they rode through autumn terrain, while visions of drumsticks danced in their brains. O'er rivers, through woods, with winding and weaves, their school bus sailed on through the new fallen leaves. When out on the road there arose such a clatter, they threw down their windows to see what was the matter. When what with their wondering eyes should they see but a miniature farm and ate tiny turkey? And a little old man, so lively and rugged, they knew in a moment it was Farmer Mac Nugget. Hello, kids, welcome to the farm. Dressed all in denim from his head to his toes, with a pinch of polyester and a dash of Velcro. And then in a twinkling, they heard in the straw the prancing and pawing of each little claw. More rapid than chickens, his cockerels they came. He whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Ollie, now Andy, now Larry and Mo, now Wally, Andy, we're on ship and Groucho. The turkeys were chunky with smiley beaked faces, and they greeted each other with downy embraces. So out through the barnyard, they ran and they flew, and they gobbled and giggled, as friends sometimes do. <laughs> then somebody spotted an axe by the door and asked Farmer Nugget what it was for. What is the axe for? With a blink of his eye and a twist of his head. The old farmer told a grim tale of dread. Do not, said McNugget. These feathery beasts will be chopped up and roasted for Thanksgiving feasts. <gasps> the children stood still as tears filled their eyes. Then they clamored aloud in a chorus of cries. <laughs> cried McNugget. Now what shall I do? So he dashed to the well, and the teacher went too. And they fetched some water straight from the ground, in the hopes that a swig might calm everyone down. And when they returned to quiet the matter, the children were calm and mysteriously fatter. And girls drank up their drinks in the hay, then thanked old McNugget and waddled away. Limped to the school bus, all huffing and puffing, it's not easy to walk with hot turkey stuffing. <laughs> then, as the school bus drove off through the night, 
McNugget looked round. Not a turkey in sight. It was the night before Thanksgiving, and the stars up above shone down on a school bus abounding with love. The very next evening, eight families were blessed with eight fluffy Thanksgiving turkeys as guests. They feasted on veggies with jelly and toast, and everyone was thankful the turkeys the most. So each one gave thanks for love and for living, and they all had a wonderful